from getting creepy gifts to her house getting broken into, here's how Kim Kardashian was granted a restraining order against her stalker. You'd be shocked to know the stuff this man was doing. Kim just got a temporary restraining order against a dude who'd been acting crazy. This guy's been showing up at her house like a stalker, calling her his wife and even sending her a ring. Sources say he first started creeping on Kim in December, but security had been shutting him down. Interestingly, it was not just at her house, he was also posting wild stuff about her online. Talk about intense. Kim's lawyer, Sean Hawley, filed some serious docs. Apparently, this stalker dude has been sending a lot of creepy stuff to her house, including a diamond ring and keys to a hotel room. Kim's not messing around. She's clarified that this guy's got a criminal past involving firearms and threats, and his actions have caused her serious emotional distress. A judge agreed and granted a temporary restraining order until a hearing. Looks like Kim's taking control and making sure she's safe. But this isn't the first time Kim's been granted a restraining order. Turns out she's had multiple stalkers. The Skims owner had a stalker who claimed that he was communicating with her telepathically. A five-year protective order was granted to Kim Kardashian by a Los Angeles court against Andre Persaud. According to TMZ, Persaud has made multiple visits to Kardashian's home. As per the order, Persaud was prohibited from communicating with Kardashian or coming within 100 yards of her. He was also asked to give up any firearms he has. Kardashian told the court that Persaud had visited her home three times in August and also claimed to have communicated with her telepathically on social media. However, Kardashian says they've never met and fears the situation could turn violent after he mentioned to her security he had a gun. According to court records, Versad even made a trip to New York while Kardashian was there on business and attempted to access her hotel room. It's believed that he found Kardashian's LA address by contacting a realtor who works with one of her sisters and was carrying the address written on a piece of paper when he entered her neighborhood unlawfully. For a star-studded neighborhood, Kim sure has many stalkers. There was one stalker who almost broke into her house. Kim's Hidden Hills mansion almost got robbed by an intruder who got into a scuffle with the security outside the $60 million pad. It all went down on October 15th, according to TMZ. The suspect was DeAndre Williams, a three-time stalker who was busted by the police around 11 a.m. He was caught by security a few feet away from the celebrity's house. Not much has been revealed about him, except because he was into Kim. He was caught on the surveillance tapes multiple times. Luckily, Kim and her children were not at home at the time he showed up. This also isn't the first time her home has been targeted, though. Something similar happened in 2017. Some burglars broke into her and Kanye's Bel Air mansion and even ransacked three of their fancy cars. And get this, their neighbor, Kathy Griffin, was also a target. While that's really creepy on its own, let me just add to the chaos. There have been creepier instances, like the time a man threatened to kiss her. Even though a restraining order was granted against him as well, it was still a bone-chilling incident. This man said he would break into Kardashian's home and kiss her if she continued to ignore him. The legal documents revealed that the 32-year-old, unnamed man, had been harassing the skin owner for months. Kim's lawyers also found out how this man had a criminal record with a long list of violent, offensive cases. Looks like being famous comes with a cost. And it isn't just her who's being harassed. Everyone related to her is in danger as well. In fact, a stalker threatened to kill her ex-boyfriend. Kim asked for protection for her fam because of a stalker sending her over 30 creepy letters with threats towards her four kids and boyfriend, Pete. The legal docs discovered by the blast show how this stalker's behavior has caused her severe emotional distress. 
the letters also had disturbing sexual references and even included a written bomb threat to her office. Jeez! Kim filed for a restraining order against the stalker and in the declaration explained how the scary situation affected her. She stated that she has never met or talked to the stalker and has no relationship with him, but he somehow got her private home address. She said there's no reason or legitimate purpose for him to be contacting her. In the letters, he threatened to kill her, and Pete Davidson made false claims about her and her relationships and made creepy sexual references. A judge in LA ordered a temporary restraining order against the stalker, forbidding him from contacting Kim or Pete or coming within 100 feet of her or her home. And just when I thought things couldn't get worse, they did. This dude definitely raised the creepy bar. He sent her a creepy package with a diamond ring and Plan B pills. But wait, it gets worse. Security said this wasn't the first time they spotted the stalker around her home. Apparently, he showed up twice before claiming he was there to take her out to dinner. Looks like Kim's got some unwanted admirers on her hands. As Kim had already had a restraining order against him, the police arrested him this time around. He was charged with a felony stalking charge and is being held at $150,000 bail. By now, you've got an idea about how many stalkers she's had to deal with. Turns out she had to deal with them even when she was miles away from her home. She was traumatized by her robbers in Paris. Kim was robbed in October 2016 during her visit to Paris. The men stole $10 million worth of jewelry, which included her $4 million Lorraine Schwartz engagement ring. She was staying at the Hotel de Portali for Paris Fashion Week when several masked men broke into her hotel room. Mind you, she was alone. They blindfolded her and took away everything. The celebrity opened up about the traumatic incident in The David Letterman Show. She said they scared her to death, and she was afraid that she was going to get s and then murdered. These men restrained her with zip ties and duct tape. They also held her at gunpoint while they were looking for her jewelry bag. The Skims owner talked about how she begged them to let her live because she has a whole family. It was a pretty traumatizing incident for both Kim and her sister Courtney, who was sharing a room with her. Fortunately, Kim didn't sustain any injuries, but she was definitely scarred mentally and emotionally. Later, it was revealed that these intruders were men in their 80s and 70s. Also, it was a planned heist. Apparently, they had been planning for two years. One of the robbers was interviewed, and he stated he figured out Kim's whereabouts through her social media. He also admitted that he didn't know who she was for two years when he started looking into her. He said that he saw that one episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians where Kim threw her diamond ring into the ocean. The robber then deduced that she was really rich and was just throwing it away. In his own words, she was throwing it away and I was there to collect it. He also admitted that he was aware of the trauma they had caused her. And that's all about Kim, her creepy stalkers, and the many restraining orders.